Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Um, if you know your lower weight divisions in boxing, you'll know that 115 is a pretty stacked division. You've got people like, uh, oh, if we got, let's have a think, Junto uh, Nakatani's in the mix. Uh, he's got one of the belts. Um, you've got Estrada. You've got um, Kazuto Ioka. Uh, Martinez is there. You've still got a few few of the older guys hanging around. Srisavak Kot. Sorung Versailles, you know the geezer I mean, for Christ's sake. Um, and, uh, yeah, Chocolatito might still have another go. You just don't know, but it's there's definitely a lot of talent at 115, and very often they will fight each other. Well, on Friday in Mexico, on a DAZN show, a matchroom show, uh, two guys, two of the sort of guys who were bubbling under, they fought each other, and it was a very, very good fight. They fought to a draw. And those two fighters are Jonathan Rodriguez and Israel Gonzalez. Now, Rodriguez came in with 24 wins, 16 KOs, and two defeats, both on points. And he lost in 2021 to Jerwin Ankahas. Um, and it was, from what I remember, that was an IBF title fight. And from what I remember, uh, Ankahas won it relatively comfortably, although it wasn't all one-way traffic. Um, prior to that, um, the, his other defeat well, on points was a split decision back in 2018. I can't remember the name of the guy. But um, he's only 27, Jonathan Rodriguez, so he's got plenty of time to get another title shot. Uh, he's had one, and he's you know, it's not worked out, but not no problem. He can come again. Um, now, Israel Gonzalez took this fight at a couple of weeks' notice. Um, I can't remember who he replaced, but he's only 26, and this guy seems to have been around forever because he's already had four world title fights. Um, in his previous fight... He went uh, the distance, um, again, this is super flyaway, with Bam Rodriguez, Jesse Rodriguez, and lost wide on points. Um, he lost um, to Chocolatito over 12, that was in 2020. He lost uh, over 12 to Cal Yafai, although, to be honest, a lot of people thought um, he won that fight, and Yafai got a home, hometown decision. I remember, I remember hearing those scorecards, I can't remember the fight, because I don't think it was very very entertaining but I remember thinking mm, that's a bit naughty that's a bit those you know this was a much closer fight than those cards and a lot of people do feel that Gonzalez won that fight um, and if you go back to uh, 2018 he actually lost to Jerwin Ankahas um, but unlike um, Rodriguez who lost on points um, Gonzalez was stopped in uh, 10 rounds uh, and that, again, another another world title fight, IBF title fight. So he comes in at two weeks' notice. It, no one's ever given this guy anything. He's got 28 wins with 11 KOs, um, five defeats, only the one by stoppage, and uh, a draw. And him and Rodriguez, they had it out. They had a really good, entertaining, so unbelievably well-matched um, little 10-rounder. Both orthodox fighters. It was one round for him, one round from the other, for the another guy. You know, it was after five rounds. I can't remember. Did I have it? I think I had it. I think I had Gonzalez up three two, um, and they were, it was it was nip and tuck. It was give and take. It was definitely uh, Gonzalez was trying to box more, but I think Rodriguez was. Um, he seemed to he seemed to be the one that wanted, wanted to get close, and he was getting close, and he was landing his own punches, and he seemed to have a bit more weight on his punches. But that's not to say that Gonzalez wasn't landing cleanly. He was, and after five rounds, I had Gonzalez three two up. Now in the sixth round, it looked like there'd been a sort of turn of the tide, because Rodriguez he seemed to sort of wake up and think, "Hang on a minute, you know this is halfway through the fight now, and I'm I'm I could be down." So he tore after Gonzalez, and he was throwing. A lot of leather. He'd really up the up the pace. He was taking, he was a lot more cavalier, getting closer, trying to. Um, and when he did get close, he was letting his hands go, but trying to sort of walk in the front door more or less and, and bully uh, Gonzalez. And in that sixth round, it seemed to have an effect because Gonzalez, for the first time, either guy looked a little bit, shall we say, discombobulated. Um, and you would think that was a, that was a, that was a. Turn, turn, like I say, a, a turning of the tide that Gonzalez was going to um, pick it up from there. But not a bit of it, because in the seventh round, back, come, back comes Gonzalez. And I thought won the seventh, which made it 4-3. Um, 
He just got back to his boxing, started to, again, landing his own clean punches, not really having much of an effect on Rodriguez, but certainly keeping him honest and keeping him away from him, which is the main thing. And they were clearly scoring punches. And both guys showed a lot of real refined skills. I mean, both these guys are very well schooled. Um, and you know, obviously both Mexican fighters have come up the hard way. They're very, very good fighters. So I, I made it. I gave, who would I give, Rodriguez the eighth, which meant it was four each and all to play for. And sure enough, very, very little, uh, very, very little in the ninth. I, I gave it to um, Jonathan Rodriguez slightly. I mean, you really, some of these rounds were very, very close. And then I thought in the last round, Gonzalez actually did sting Rodriguez with a, was it a hook? He landed one hook that seemed to trouble him. And I gave him the final round, which means I had it a draw. And so the the actual scores were 96-94 one way, 96-94 the other way, and then a 95-95. No problem at all with those scorecards. But this really showed, A, that you've got two guys at, at 115 who are not, you know, Gonzalez has been been around the block, but and he's still only 26. He's had, his, he's had four attempts at a, at a world belt. And he deserves another one. And, and John, Jonathan Rodriguez, he's, there's nothing wrong with him. He deserves a second bite of the cherry as well. Good fighters, even though they're not considered in that top echelon. And that's what we want. We want 150. We want what's going on in the 115 poundage. We want throughout boxing. We want lots and lots of talent. And they're fighting each other. So look out for both these guys. Oh, go and have a look at this fight. It's, it's entertaining. It weren't a barn burner, but it was. there's a lot of skill on display and a fair bit of action. The little guys always throw a lot of punches. And tell me what you think. Um, it's on the zone. Uh, the, it was on, on Friday on the Matchroom card. Have a look. Tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. And, of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit the like button. And we'll speak again soon. Bye for now.